Today we're going to be playing a variation of the Mutation Zahir deck, but we're going to include Irina to test out this Ascended God power in the Nature Domain. Let's immediately dive in. Today's deck is going to revolve around Irina and the Nature God power, and we're going to be playing a very tempo-focused deck to dominate the early game. If you have a quick look at the mana curve, you're going to see that we're going to be playing a lot of early game-focused cards. We have the Wayward Hat, along with a Leyline Feeder to get Mutations, to try to find the late game win condition, if it gets to that point. And we also have a very cool combo with a Staff of Aberration and the Writhing Wolf Pack, which is going to help us reclaim the board a lot of times. So let's immediately try this deck out and see how well it performs. I am obviously going to start with Irina here, which is immediately going to change my God Power to Deviation, a very tempo-focused God Power, which is going to make sure that we survive a lot in the early game. In this matchup, we're probably not going to need it a lot, since we're playing against Magic. So let me immediately throw Zahir down, who is going to be a very very sticky creature. My opponent is going to scale up a little bit. And right now I'm not going to do much, I'm just going to use my God Power on Zahir to deal a bit of damage to my opponent. And on the next turn I am probably playing the Wayward Hat, along with Crawling Madness, to get hopefully up to 6 mutations in my hand. And since we're playing against a ramp up kind of mage, we want to try to win the game as early as possible, before we get to the point where they can play Arandion. Here's my Staff of Aberration, I might even play that, now that I think about it. And then I'm just going to end my turn. A Safeguard Incantation for my opponent, again not the end of the world. Here's another Wayward Hat, in which case I'm going to play both of them. Or you know what, I can just play Crawling Madness here, right? Yeah, let me do that, that's immediately going to give me 3 mutations. And I can even attack my opponent's face to make sure that we break the protected and transform one of those ants into a creature, but Thestor is going to be a very bad transformation here. Just a god power for my opponent, again not the end of the world. Zahir is coming back now though, and we get another mutation because of that. Here is another Meyer Walker, that's not too bad actually. Uh, we have an interesting play to make now, let me first play a mutation. That's going to change the regression. Then I am going to attack with Zahir. I can then play the Leyline Feeder on Zahir. And that's going to give me so many mutations now. We're basically going to fill up our hand. I can attack this and that's going to make sure that we get Zahir back again. And now basically I have filled up my hand with mutations. Let me even attack my opponent directly. And hopefully we're going to get a nice and strong 6 mana creature here. And guys... It's looking kind of okay. My opponent can play Unbound Flames. Oh! Or a Wear Rat. That also makes sense, I guess. We're going to lose a few cards now. So let me play a Mutation. Let's play another Mutation. Swal. Wait, this is a 4 mana card, right? Oh, we are one of Lethal, actually. Drag down. No, no, I don't want you either. Enchanted Vines. No. Mutation number 6, I think. Swallow Hole. Oh my god, we are one of actually. So I guess let me just use my god power here. We're going to trade that creature. And now we are never getting Zahir back. This is the only issue that I have right now. Let me get you. And then I'm just going to end my turn. I don't think that my opponent is going to let those creatures survive. Basically we just needed a couple more mana to have won on the previous turn with Swallow. Oh wait, my opponent is going to unlock a mana lock. That's okay. Can you please let those survive? That's a Mage Bolt. Oh, so now we can't win the game anymore. And the Warp Engineer as well. Enraged ally for my opponent. That's still okay. Kind of. Okay, I'm just going to play another Mutation here, obviously. And now we have a very, very strong Hollow Form for just one mana. Actually, I'm going to play the Admissions Adventurer first. To try to get another creature. Class Out also works. Let me play Hollow Form. Just for one mana. And then I think I kind of have to play my Meyer Walker here. Let's trade this with you. Then I can go face. With you too. Let me clear you. And now my opponent is at 7 mana. They have 3 health left. And I think that I can even take you. And play a mutation. Yep. And I think that's it for now. Can my opponent clear this whole board? With 8 mana? Can they win the game? Hopefully not. They're going to attack with Unbound Flames to my face, but it's not enough. And guys, this game is ours. Let's immediately move on to the next one. This time we're playing against the Magic Domain. Oh, my starting hand is actually quite cool. My opponent is going to start with a Street Conjurer. That is a very weird card to start the game with. Let me just play Irina, in all honesty, to change my God Power. Okay, that's an Elder Rich Blast for my opponent. I'm just going to play this Relic now. This is a very fun Relic that every time we play a Nature Spell, it gains plus one durability. And when we actually use the ability of this Relic, we're going to summon a creature with mana cost equal to its durability. Okay, that is an Atonda. We really need to get this out of the way. 
Uh, but how do I do that? I guess I'm just going to play this. Or I mean, guys, last out is not so bad here either. Because, yep, we can just get rid of that. We got lucky here, but worst case scenario, we could have gotten rid of her on the next turn. That's safeguard incantation, we'll take that. I can just play the Andresi Harvest here. We're going to get a low hanging fruit. That's actually very fun. But I mean, that's probably the end of my turn, right? That's another Elderich card for my opponent. Oh, wow. We're actually going to see a very strong creature come into play. Um, how do we get rid of that? I think that we can actually. Let me start by playing the low hanging fruit. Then I can immediately follow up with a hunter's guide and play crawling madness. And if I'm not mistaken, this interaction is going to give us a lot of very strong ants after these ones go down. Yep, just like that, we get some very strong ants, which means that I can trade you immediately. And guys, I am kind of tempted to summon a six mana nature creature as well or do we wait another turn now that is the question i think i'm going to do it now for tempo oh that's interesting do i ever get train keeper selena here is that i think that's a much safer option actually and not only that this is going to interact very well with a hunter's guide and yeah that's it for now we have a very strong board my opponent is just going to play a swash buckler that's okay and then that bolt that's also another strong removal gone and then they're just going to use their god power which tells me that since I don't have much, I'm just going to try to trade here, that's okay, and then I'm going to play you. It's going to give me a very random death card. What the heck? We got so random cards. Uh, do I ever play this? No, I probably need to keep it to dread, to dread touch on the next turn. Okay, I think I'm just going to start by attacking here, obviously. Then I can play you and also follow up with Spring's Harvest. Draw a few more cards. Okay, that's good. Let me just end my turn afterwards. And basically we're just waiting to find our mutation combos. That's a Star Shard Bolt. Okay, my bull is probably going down now. Yep, looks like it. Here's my Ley Line Feeder. I kind of want to play that now, in all honesty. Or what I can do is play my Dread Deer and then follow up with a Ley Line Feeder to get three mutations in my hand, which is going to mean that we lose a card on the next turn and hopefully we're not going to lose a very important card. But I really need to get those mutations going. Okay, that's another Elderich Mystery for my opponent. I think they just made it to the Epic Rank, so it's starting to be a little scary. A Mage Bolt for my opponent and... is that it? Okay, we're going to lose Wildfire, not the end of the world. I think I'm actually going to start with Semut here. Then I am going to play the Great Ice Blessing to get another Leyline Feeder. And then I'm going to play Mutation number one. We get a Seasonal Rebirth, that's okay. Mutation number two. And I think that for now, I can just use my Get Power here again. Let's trade you. And let me even get you from the Sanctum to draw another card. And that's it. That's another very strong Crystal Curator. Okay, here's my Crawling Madness. I can just start by playing Hollow Form here in all honesty. I don't think that's going to be a very greedy play. Since that's going to buff up four of my creatures. Five actually. Then I can just trade you and end my turn. It's a Street Conjurer for my opponent. They are going to try to clear this creature but it's not going to work. We get a little lucky here. So let me just play the Ambitious Adventurer. Then I am going to obviously trade you. Yep. We get another Meyer Walker. Which is awesome. Since I can play a mutation, we get another seasonal rebirth. Fire wine is also going to be very, very useful. Let me also play you guys to get another mutation. And now we get another hollow form on the next turn. Let me try to heal you up as well. And I think we're in a good spot unless my opponent manages to actually play their final Elder Rich Mystery. And Bound Flames, we don't really mind that. Even though we're going to lose the board, we're still going to be in a very good spot. Because in all honesty, I can just play another hollow form, just like that. And then play my cornered hauler and also follow up with the infested satyr. And guys, you have a lot of damage on the board. Again, let's see what my opponent has to say about that. They're going to draw a card. They're looking for their final Elderich Mysteries. It's close. It's a close one. Oh, they're going to look for a Randion, actually. Uh, but wait. But still okay for us, I mean. Let me immediately play Selena here. Or you know what, guys? I can even go face. Then I can follow up with a Leyline Feeder on you. That's going to give me a couple of mutations, which means that I can play Selena now to make sure that we don't miss with this creature. Let me deal with that. Then I'm dealing 13 damage to my opponent, and we basically just need one more turn to survive. Let me get that from the Sanctum. Why did I not trade that? I have no idea. My opponent has a Randion, but I think that's all they have, right? They can't mana surge it. We have a very strong board. Okay, they're looking for an answer, seven mana left. But I think this is practically game over. Yep, that's going to be a Snow Shaper Palace. To transform one of our creatures, but guys, that's it. 
the game is ours. We win another one. Let me just go face and just like that, the game is over. We ended up performing really decent with this deck today. This is a strong archetype. It's really fun to play with because you get all those random interactions with the mutations, uh, which makes for some non-linear gameplay in my opinion. You have to constantly think when you want to play what, you have to consider your options. So overall, this is a strong archetype. But today we started this video to test out this new god power of Irina. Does it hit the mark? Well, so and so. I mean, it gives a lot of tempo, which is going to be very useful against some aggro decks, but is it really that much stronger compared to the regular get powers? I guess the trade-off is that we don't really have a lot of creatures to dread touch since you can't summon those badgers just for two mana. What we're going to be gaining is tempo value which is going to be work great with our blitz creatures like the cornered howlers or the crawling madness. But still, I don't think this is really an ascended get power, you know what I mean? It's strong, but it's lacking something. Very recently, I became aware that the balancing team is going to be buffing Irina probably. Uh, but still, we have all the other domains to see if it's going to be a buff or a nerf and in which cases. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to comment immediately because that is going to enter you into my weekly giveaways. And if you enjoy this type of Guts Unchained content, you can also subscribe because I try to upload as often as possible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon with a brand new video. Enjoy!